go around here. Here I am with Pai Bell. <laughs> and in this exciting episode, we are working in a gymnasium at a school. It's raining, the weather's changed, but uh, we're gonna get through this. I think as far as city views go, this school is the best one. Or at least one of the best. Hey, 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 what have you been up to doing? Oh, not much. Okay, chop things. Um, got good space here to work with. Um, Ooh, you got the Makita. That's mine. So this is, because this oh. one is about took my arm off the other day. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, so is this brand new? See, this one broke. Man, I took my bloody arm off. I found this oh, thing was out. Nice. And it was just hanging there, and I went to use it, and bang, smashed into the aluminium. And, wow. So I thought, yeah. nah, screw that. Time for a good one. Mine, so. <laughs> nice. Oh, the same as Richard. I've been watching what you guys buy. Oh, yeah. um, I got myself a plane and a oh, I mean, oh, yeah, circular yeah. saw and then I bought myself the 42 and the impact driver and then I just picked up one of these. I wanted to find out where you got that Oh, you got the router from. too. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, a guy in the States yeah. called Frank. Even if I just trace it and pay it. Well, yeah, if you get a <laughs> bit of perspex. When's the um, scissor lift thing? It should be around right about now. So basically, Shelly here is the um, dude who looks after the school and he got us in to repair this plasterboard that's been damaged. So we're gonna go check that out now. But, coffee first. Cheers, bro. Mm -hmm. Let's install that, is that what you said? Oh, wow. There we go. Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Good, thanks. Uh, so you you to nah, I used to have a uh, scissor lift license, but um, it's been a few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just seen you on a digger, that's all. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no control. Feeling confident there, Pato? Yeah, bro. You know what you're doing? It's pretty easy. Yeah? I think. Do you trust me? Um. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, bro. Push that to the left. And it should. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so I just gotta get the thickness of the ceiling so I can go get some material that will patch it. While Pido cuts the cuts into a more manageable shape. Oh, it's kind of strange working at a school of all places. Certainly another element to consider, you know, with students running around, teachers, and especially with the whole COVID thing. So part of setting up the signs and cordoning off the area as best we can. And Shelly's helping us with that as well. But it's just another thing to think about. This is the placemakers, very nearby, but uh, the entrance and the, the way the whole system works is very different now. I went in the exit, but it's still the exit. One way in, one way out, basically. All right, back to the job. Hey, mate. Look, having fun there? Having a great time. Some structure. I don't know, eh? Hey. Yeah, 
PayPal and Patreon, thank you very much for shouting. Um, this lunch is on you. Can we go to this one? Or? Nah. Oh. Really need a Doesn't look that appealing in the cardboard box, does it? Well, I'm excited. You excited, Scott? I'm excited. Exciting, eh, Pato? Oh, this is the exciting moment when we put the plasterboard up, and this plasterboard is red. And the reason it's red, it's red and all pink, and it's heavy as well because it's Fireline, Jib Fireline. I'll just get it. And the reason we're using Fireline is because it has a cement board there currently, and that might be a fire rated thing, I'm not 100%. So I'm using Fireline just in case. Thanks mate. Um, so the whole gym will burn down except for this bit. <laughs> you know, that's what we do with Scott Brown Carpentry. That's right. We leave a better job than what we found. That's ready for Saeed here. Yep. Have fun, man. Okay. And uh, we're going to do this little patch here. I think what happened is they changed the basketball hoop. The old system swung in, and the bolts and everything that held it up went through here, I believe. So we're going to patch the jib there for that reason. Will it fit? Oh my god! Go fit? It? Just wow. Wow. Well. Well. So, that's the big one. But there's smaller patches to do here. All those little bits here. Yeah. See, I think this is a firewall because it goes all the way up to the beam. Mm. All the way up to the floor. Yeah. Sealed everywhere, you know? Yeah. You should, the only reason you usually do that is for a firewall. Yeah. Uh, We just had our lunch, and now we're gonna do this last patch. Last patch of the day. Oh my god. I'm sure it's this way. It wasn't the last. As soon as he's done that, we patch this little one up here. How's it going, Saeed? Good. Alright, we did it putter. So you're just going to finish plastering there, probably going to paint it from the ladder. Um, and then tomorrow morning we're going to try and drive that scissor lift around the block to the music room. Um, a room that's built, I think it was built in 1863 is what, the, um, is what Shelley said. So yeah, it's a heritage building. And there's a leak in the roof and that means the ceiling has been damaged. So we're gonna get a scissor lift up there. 
and see if we can fix it. Look, there's Auckland City. Got a good job, eh? Saeed! Oh, thank you. No worries, man.